Email scam alert. Yesterday, I received not one, but two emails legitimately coming from PayPal, but actually sent by a scammer. So let's analyze these emails so that we can help educate people on how to not fall for these phishing attempts. Let's do this. So here is the email that I received, and as you can see, it is coming from PayPal. In fact, if we look at the header of this email, here we can see that it did come from service at paypal.com, SPF, DKIM, DMARC all passed with no issues whatsoever. So then how do we know that this is a scam? Well, let's take a closer look. So seller's note to customer says, Dear customer, you sent a payment of 479 USD to Coinbase Corporation. Now, the way that they do this, I mean, I use Coinbase. There was probably some leak or hack at some point in the past where my email address was associated with Coinbase, so they know that I am a Coinbase customer. It goes on to say, if you did not make this payment or to cancel this transaction, please call our help desk number, and then we have an 888 number, which on the other email that I received was identical to this one, except it was a 213 Los Angeles area code number. And of course, PayPal is based in Silicon Valley, not in Los Angeles. So that's already a little bit weird, but we'll get to the phone numbers in just a moment. It says, please call our help desk number. Cancellation after 48 hours won't be valid for a refund, right? So they're trying to incentivize you within 48 hours. If you don't call, you will not get a refund of this money that you supposedly sent. If you log directly into your PayPal account, not clicking any links in this email, if you actually log into your PayPal account, you will not see any such $479 transaction. That's the best way to prove that this is a fake scam email. So what are they actually doing though? If you click on this view and pay invoice, it takes you to a for real PayPal invoice. So basically this scammer creates an invoice and sends it through PayPal's invoicing system. My guess is that they are just hoping that some people will see this and just click on it and pay it. You know, maybe like an accounting department that's not keeping a close eye on what they're paying for. Or the scammer gets people to call that phone number, in which case ultimately they will try to take over your computer and steal money. That way, as we've seen on all of these sort of, you know, scammer channels that are out here on YouTube. So this email can be pretty easy to fall for because it is legitimately coming from PayPal. But again, let's look at the clues. We did not send any sort of $479 payment to Coinbase and logging into your PayPal account directly will show you no history of that type of payment. Now, I didn't click on the view and pay invoice link, but if you hover over that link, it is going to a PayPal URL, right? So this is a valid invoice that this scammer has sent uh, attached to this link. And finally, we have the phone numbers, right? So this one is less obvious because it's an 888 toll-free number, but the other email that I received was a Los Angeles 213 phone number, which of course PayPal is not based in Los Angeles. So, you know, that's a little bit weird, but not everyone might know that. And you also might not know that 213 is Los Angeles off the top of your head. I just happen to used to live in Los Angeles, so I know that area code. Now, if you scroll down further, all of the rest of this information is fully legitimate, right? Because again, this email actually came from PayPal. So all of the links, including the learn to identify phishing link, will take you back to PayPal. So what happens though, if you actually call this phone number? Well, to find out, I set up a voice over IP number uh, that was separate from our own you know, company number here, totally brand new phone number. And I tried calling both of these. All right, let's give it a call. Oh, immediately hung up. So that number just does not work. Now I received a second notice with a different number, this time a toll free 888 number. Let's try that number instead. And that one immediately hung up too. So these numbers just go nowhere. They absolutely do not work. Now they might work for a little while, but once someone catches on to what's happening, they probably shut those numbers down quickly and uh, move on to different phone numbers. So unfortunately those went absolutely nowhere and I literally just received this yesterday. So if this was a working number yesterday, it is now not a working number and I'm sure the scammer is sending out more copies of these emails but with a different phone number attached. So be on the lookout for this scam and make sure also that you're sending this video to anyone who might be susceptible to this type of thing such as someone in accounting uh, that maybe pays invoices that come in through PayPal.
And if you want to keep watching, I have handpicked two videos for you to watch. Next, the video up here on the top is the time when we almost got scammed by a scammer. That was a very interesting story. And the video down on the bottom is a video about the recent LastPass breach that was definitely a significant breach you're going to want to check out.